Hey TPPS, welcome to your week 3 distance learning lesson. Uh, today's topic is going to be on the music of Spain. If you haven't already, please make sure that you have checked out last week's assignment and lesson on the music of Greece. Uh, so broadly speaking, the country of Spain, Spain is located in the continent of Europe, bordering the Mediterranean Sea here, the North Atlantic Ocean, Portugal on its uh, west side and France on its east side. In the 1500 to 1800, Spain ruled one of the largest empire in history. Um, and as a result of it today, over 570 million people in the world speak Spanish as a native language. Uh, that actually makes it the second most popular native language after uh, Mandarin Chinese. So if you can imagine, uh, even more so than last week when we were talking about how because there's so many Greek cultures, it's hard to specify what is called Greek music, it is even more so difficult to classify what is called Spanish music. Um, so for the purposes of today, just to keep things nice and simple, we're going to be focusing on two different styles of music that came out of Spain, which is going to be the classical Spanish guitar and the flamenco music. Um, so as I was talking about earlier, Spain has a rich history that has seen a music culture influenced by several different factors. Uh, this can be uh, ranging from the fact that it was ruled over by so many different types of empires, from uh, the ancient Romans, the Visigoths, to the Muslims, and even more so, um, Spain was also a place that was influenced by a lot of immigration and a lot of people passing through the country. Um, and it was a pretty big port, and not to mention that it also had one of the biggest empires. So as a result, you can see that Spanish music is going to be something that has a combination of different cultures. Uh, today, the best known musical genres from Spain are classical guitar and flamenco music, although Spain has many other different types of music styles and dances throughout its mainland and island regions. Um, just to give you a quick example of what is kind of typical of uh, the music of Spain, I have a video to show you here, which is a song called El Vito, uh, featuring this man over here playing the guitar and this woman over here playing the castanets. So, um, from our lesson last week on Greek music, we know that string instruments like the lyre and the lute were used in ancient times. Uh, this is an example of the lyre, which we saw last week from uh, ancient Greek history, and the lute. Um, and these are both string instruments. And similarly across the globe, there were ancient string instruments like the zither from Asia, uh, the sitar from Persia, and the Arabic lute that all contributed to the invention of the guitar in Spain. Because as I mentioned, Spain was a place that had lots of different cultures coming into it. And so the culmination of this was uh, the guitar. And the guitar as we know it today is believed to be a result of the mixing of Muslim and culture, uh, Christian cultures in Spain. And which produced at first uh, this four string pear shaped guitar in the Middle Ages. Um, which was later developed and finally kind of like solidified in the shape that you know today. Which is the six string broad guitar. Uh, which was invented in the 19th century. So I have my guitar here to kind of demonstrate a few things from uh, Spanish guitar music. There are a few key characteristics that separate classical guitar playing from technique from other styles of guitar. Um, this is not a classical Spanish guitar, uh, but I will um, be able to show you some of the characteristics using it. Um, so one of the things um, that big major uh, characteristics of Spanish classical guitar music is that you are plucking the strings with generally the fingernails to get a nice clean sound, like this. Or um, in some rare cases you'd be using just like the fleshy part of your finger. Okay. Um, another key characteristic is that you are playing with a natural acoustic sound, so you're not using things like an amplifier or a speaker or a modifier to kind of like distort the noise. Uh, strings are usually made out of gut or nylon. Gut is, if you can imagine, made out of the insides. 
usually stomachs um, of various animals like cows and lambs, or more common today is made out of synthetic nylon. Um, this, unfortunately, is not a classical guitar. This is an acoustic guitar because its strings are made out of steel. Uh, players are normally seated with the instrument resting on their left lap and the left foot on a stool. So the instrument is usually kind of like on an angle like this with the left foot um, supporting it. And right-handed players will use the fingers of the right hand to pluck the strings with the thumb plucking the top string downwards with the down stroke and the other fingers plucking in the bottom with an upward stroke like that. Um, and because I'm not an expert on classical guitar and I don't want to put you through listening to me try and play a song, um, I have another example um, over here of classical Spanish guitar music. Um, so the other type of music I would like to talk to you about today is the flamenco music. Um, flamenco music was likely inspired by the music of India, which was brought to Spain by migrating gypsies, who brought with them a large repertoire of songs, dances, and musical instruments, including tambourines, bells, and wooden castanets. So for those of you who are uh, familiar with Indian music, what you might find are some interesting characteristics that you will notice have some similarities. Um, characteristics of flamenco music include uh, the tocador, which is the flamenco guitar. Uh, it's similar to classical music with a few changes. <clears throat> Some of them are kind of minor, like they start using the pinky, whereas um, in classical guitar you mostly just use like the four fingers. Um, things like there's more strumming, there's tapping of the guitar, um, and it's more rhythmic. Uh, you have the bio, which is the dancer. Um, who is going to be performing a series of choreographed dance steps, so steps that are planned, and improvised uh, dance steps, so steps that are made up on the spot, uh, sometimes holding props like castanets, shawls, and fans. I uh, have the compa, which is the rhythm, which is usually provided um, with the guitar, uh, with its strumming, or it could be with its tapping. It could also be provided with clapping, or uh, with the dancer's feet, or a combination of everything. Um, and last but not least, there is sometimes a canto, which is the singer who tells a story. Um, general topics of uh, flamenco music will include things like love and pain or happy and sad times. Although there's kind of like three general types of uh, flamenco music in which you have like um, songs that are like really like serious and sad and songs that are like super happy and like light. Um, an example that I have over here will show you um, the tocado, which is going to be the guitar player, um, a canto, and a, someone who is going to be singing and clapping, and the bio, the uh, dancer who is going to be uh, dancing and also providing some rhythm with her feet. Uh, 
Yeah, so even though that was a short excerpt, you can kind of see the difference between that guitar playing and the classical music, where that guy is drumming more, he's tapping his guitar, and um, it's just a little bit more rhythmic and not so much plucking um, to that music. So uh, that was actually your lesson for this week. Um, your assignments this week are similar to what they were last week. I'm going to be giving you the options of uh, two songs. You, can only, you only need to pick one to respond to questions about. Um, if you're in grade 7 and grade 8, there's just an additional question in part B. Please take a look at it, uh, which is going to be a question about today's lesson. Um, something I noticed from last week is, uh, some of you might not have seen this, uh, third part, this is kind of like an extension of your learning. I'm going to be also adding the um, music for a traditional ch uh, Spanish children's song. Uh, you can play it on any instrument that you have at home. If there's no music for that, just let me know. Um, there's also, however, music for an online keyboard that you can play uh, using a device or using a computer. Uh, so that is the, it for this week. I hope you had um, you found this uh, topic interesting. Um, I can't wait for next week, which I think is going to be on the music of Japan. Um, have a great week. I will see you all next week. Bye, everyone.